Fashion 2021 Spirit Awards for Spirit of Bermuda for this past school year. I'm Lauren Yell Simmons, Education and Programs Manager at the Bermuda Sloop Foundation. This year has been our 14th year of providing a powerful, relevant, experiential learning, sail training experience to the youth of Bermuda. I've had the pleasure of organizing these expeditions in conjunction with the schools this year. It has indeed been one of the most challenging school years, given that we have been in a global pandemic. Working closely with the health department and the school leaders, we modified our usual residential program and provided a days only experience. Students aboard became trainee crew, not passengers, and learned to successfully sail, navigate, connect with their Bermuda environment and develop essential, successful life skills. Learning more about their Bermuda geography and maritime history facilitates connectedness to their island home. In addition, for most weeks, a day of environmental education was provided by Water Start Limited on Burt's Island. Students learned snorkeling skills and data collection coupled with island ecology and woodland restoration. Water Start Limited has been a key partner this year. In addition, we have, we have worked with BUEI and the National Museum. We're also proud of working with the Mirrors Program in providing a day sailing training program experience to their cohort. This past year, we welcomed three public schools the entire M3 year and two private schools for a total of 242 Bermudian school students. While we had more scheduled, the lockdown in March 2021 forced the cancellation of the last four private schools and omitted the possibility of the fourth public school. All students received a certificate of accomplishment for their participation. Most were engaged and did very well. The ones chosen for awards today exemplified certain additional qualities that stood out for the crew, but keep in mind all are winners. The commitment of the entire crew of Spirit of Bermuda in working with the youth is essential to its success. At the end, we will have the Adam Goodwin Scholarship Award presented as well. With that, the captain of Spirit of Bermuda will say a few words, followed by the crew presenting the awards for students. First, I would like to extend my congratulations to every student who has come aboard Spirit this past year and completed a rigorous week of self-discovery. You deliberately stepped out of your comfort zone, took the risk, put trust in your crewmates, worked as a team, and ultimately navigated the 100-ton Spirit of Bermuda safely throughout Bermuda's islands and reefs. All were a success. It takes many small steps to get to success, and yes, many of these steps will be mistakes. That is life. Mistakes are where we build character and develop as individuals. I watched all of you turn mistakes into opportunities through perseverance, determination, while on board spirit. This is also where we prove to ourselves that we are more capable than we may have thought. Using spirit as a metaphor for life, we now see the process that leads us throughout adversity and to success. With that, you can do anything. More importantly, you have the ability to change your community for the better. Now I would like to congratulate all those who will be given awards today. These awards may all be different. However, every one of them is a reminder that you are a leader and have shown this during your week aboard. These awards represent skills that will need continuous work and reflection throughout your journey, but it is a strong foundation for much to be built upon. Stay diligent and see you on deck. The following students from Dalewood Middle School received awards from a being aboard spirit. Damori Harvey, Azari Woods, McKaylee Smith, Alexis Smith, Zahun Simons, Zakai Miners, Maya Smith, Sabaje Perinchi, Kimani Clark, Nyasia White, 
Preston Ephraim III and Mikkel Ingham. Demory Harvey received the award for leadership. Demory was a leader within his watch. He encouraged his crewmates to step up and meet the challenges on board by leading by example. Great job, Demory. Azari Woods is receiving the award for determination. Azari worked very hard throughout the week and did a great job applying her skills from endeavor to spirit. She seemed a bit shy and reserved the first day, but she came around, found her footing, and she started to understand how things work on board and how she could apply the specific knowledge to sailing spirit. Well done, Azari. Alexis Smith is receiving the award for Ace of Initiative. Alexis is a quick learner with a very mature, focused approach. Once she picked up the skills, she was interested in learning more. Excellent job, Alexis. McKaylee Smith is receiving the award for leadership. McKaylee learned tasks quickly and was able to help guide others. She needed little direction after observing the steps needed to prep and pack sales daily. Excellent job, McKaylee. Zehun Simons is receiving the award for Ace of Initiative. Zehun is an excellent student. He did what was needed and encouraged his watch to complete tasks while stepping up when others wouldn't. Good job, Zehun. Zakai Miners receives the award for skills developed. As a self-motivated young man, he took the information in and applied it to the task on board. He needed little guidance or encouragement after he figured things out. Excellent job, Sakai. Maya Smith is receiving the award for determination. Maya really stepped up during a challenging week. When others started to disengage, she stepped up by working hard and listening to complete tasks. She applied previous skills and knowledge and was always eager to learn more. Good job, Maya. Savaja Perrin Chief is receiving the award for situational awareness. Savaja worked very hard. He is a self-motivator and proactive. He caught on to the process quickly and increasingly became aware of how spirit works and put all his energy into not just completing the task, but to fully understand the how and why in order to apply the skills learned. Good job, Savaja. Kimani Clark is receiving the award for most improved. Kimani was inquisitive about most things and tried his best to complete the task. He began to gain more confidence by the middle of the week. Good job, Kamani. Nyesha White is receiving the award for Ace of Initiative. Nyesha was the leader of the watch. She was quiet, proactive. She was also the last person standing when tasks needed to be completed. Excellent job, Nyesha. Preston E. from the third is receiving the award for Ace of Initiative. Preston was our worker bee that week. He stepped up to help others when other watchers would complete their task. Excellent job, Preston Ephraim III. Mikael Ingham is receiving the award for most improved. Mikael was apprehensive on the first day, but found his way as the week progressed. He skipped swimming to help wrap up the inner jib. He also found his courage to be out on the bowsprit while sailing. And finally, he took the initiative to flake the anchor chain. Excellent job, Mikkel. The following students from Sands Secondary Middle School have won awards. Nadira Durham, Ashley De Silva, Michael Scott, Alfonso Pont, Tanjay Bean, Keon Smith, Kimaya Place, and Teja Bean. In addition, Shatari Smith is receiving the Captain's Honors Award, presented by Captain Philippe Grosinger from Germany. Nadira Durham is receiving the award for Ace of Initiative. Nadira was always volunteering. She would follow the watch leader to ask what was next. She helped with prepping the mizzen when the four duties were completed. A real go-getter. Good job, Nadira. Ashley De Silva is receiving the award for perseverance. Ashley had the best attitude. She even pushed through seasickness. She always had a positive attitude throughout the whole experience. Good job, Ashley. Michael Scott is receiving awards uh, for Ace of Initiative. Michael was interested in all aspects of the boat. 
He asked lots of questions and put lots of effort into understanding ship operations. Great job, Michael. Alfonso Pont is receiving the award for leadership. Alfonso came later in the week and encouraged others to step up by following his lead. He definitely has leadership potential. Good job, Alfonso. Tanjay Bean is receiving award of determination. Tanjay worked the hardest out of her group. She stayed to back sails away when all the other left. She pushed through to get the hardest job done. Good job, Tanjay. Keon Smith is receiving the award for Asia of Initiative. Amazing effort, Keon. Keon really stepped up and took the initiative to complete the really hard task on board Spirit, especially packing away sails. Excellent job, Keon. Kimaya Place is receiving the award for skills developed. Kimaya impressed us with how much she picked up as the week went on. She increasingly stepped up on tasks, for example, tying buildings in the sheets, jumping in on the winch in the cockpit. Her watch leader trusted her to do things carefully and correctly. Excellent, Kimaya. Teja Bean is receiving the award for leadership. She has previous sailing experience, so she was very intrigued to be on board and helped out often, especially within her group. She had the patience and the focus to help others with difficult tasks. Great job, Teja. And I'm very proud to present the winner, Shatari Smith. Shatari, you did a great job navigating the channel as a junior captain. You have leadership abilities with a reliable focus and the courage to give commands on board spirit. You have a great determination to go for what you want to accomplish. Very good job, I'm proud of you. The following students from Clearwater Middle School received awards on board spirit. Nadia D'Souza, Amari Place, Chase DeBoy, Tare Ibrahim, Sean Simmons, Ira Thompson, Michael Darrell, Marseille Williams, Mackenzie Armstrong, and Josiah Miners. Nadia D'Souza is receiving the award for determination, the star of the watch. She stepped up from day one and was always eager to learn and help out. She asked lots of questions and focused on learning all the details it takes to operate spirit. Great job to Nadia. Amari Place receives the award for skills developed. Amari has a fun, outgoing personality. In addition to those talents, she has learned as many skills as possible during her time on board. Great job, Amari. Chase the boy receives the award for most improved. Chase initially hung back a bit, but worked harder every day. He increased his confidence at the helm with lots of maneuvers in Hamilton Harbor on our windiest day of the week. Excellent job, Chase. Tarai Ibrahim receives the award for determination. Tarai made the best out of every situation and pushed through each task. A great attitude that will take her far. Keep it up, Tarai. Okay. Sean Simmons receives the award for Ace of Initiative. Sean performed his best in everything. He was eager and willing to do more and more. A very good, inquisitive student. Excellent job, Sean. Ira Thompson is receiving the award for most improved. Ira is a very kind-hearted student. He focused to complete tasks, which there are a lot of on board, and we could tell that he was outside his comfort zone. But he met the challenge and seemed to stand a little bit taller on the last day. Excellent job, Ira. Michael Darrell receives the award for skills developed. Michael loved the hard work required on board. He always asked what was next. Soon, he was teaching and guiding others efficiently with tactile tasks like knots during cell prep. Well done, Michael. Mackenzie Armstrong is receiving the award for most improved. Mackenzie was always ready to learn the next steps and find what she enjoyed the most. When she found a job she loved, she would go for it every day until she became efficient at doing it. Great job, Mackenzie. 
Marseille Williams receives the award for leadership. Marseille is a great leader. She is smart, inquisitive, and good at drawing conclusions. Well done, Marseille. Josiah Miners received the award for most improved. Josiah displayed leadership potential. He found his place at the helm, and it was the first thing we saw him get excited about. We watched him grow and become more accountable for his actions. If he likes, he has the potential to be a future watch leader. Well done, Josiah. The following students from Mount St. Agnes received awards on board Spirit. Marley Place, Ethan McAlpine, and Ethan Thompson. Marley Place is receiving the award for Ace of Initiative. Marley was always getting the task completed. She's a self-motivated individual. She always knew what was to come next, and she always stepped up and made sure that she was the first person to volunteer. Great job, Marley. Ethan McAlpine receives the award for Ace of Initiative. Ethan is a self-motivated student. He is eager to sail and always asked what job was next. Excellent job, Ethan. The following students received awards from Saltis Senior School. Hamish Morse, Joanna Santiago, William Holst, Rory Lucas, Samantha Soros, Sebastian Grob, and Ethan Fox. Hamish Morris receives the award for determination. Hamish seemed reserved the first day, but he was definitely determined to work hard and find his place on board. Quite a standout. Excellent job, Hamish. William Hulse is receiving the award for most improved. William is quiet and unsure of himself, but always tried his best. He was unsure about going out onto the bowsprit, but he found his courage and decided to go out and face his fears. He enjoyed the ride out on the net and came back and told us that it was one of the best times he's had with us all week. Excellent job, William. Rory Lucas is receiving the award for most improved. Rory was shy, smart, and intriguing while on board. He found his voice as the week went on and started to help out in more and more places on board, especially helping the first mate. Excellent job, Rory. Joanna Santiago receives the award of determination. Joanna was very inquisitive and self-aware. She found her place on board and was determined to learn as much as she could during the experience. Good job, Joanna. Excellent. Samantha Soares receives the leadership award. Sam is an excellent leader and sailor. She always took initiative and has a willingness to help others when needed. She was hands-on during all aspects of sailing from day one all the way to the end of the week. She volunteered as charter crew and picked up skills quickly. We see great things uh, in her future on board Spirit. Sebastian Grob receives the Leadership Award. Sebastian is very vocal and catches on fast. An intriguing natural leader. He was always asking for more to do and consistently jumped up from task to task, uh, even in other watches. He was the workhorse during his voyage and we can't, help to, can't wait to have it back as a future leader. Good job, Sebastian. Ethan Fox is receiving the Engineering Award. On the first day, Ethan proclaimed he was going to be an engineer one day. He was very inquisitive about the duties and responsibilities of the engineer on board. He had a willingness to help and became knowledgeable about most of the systems on board by asking many questions. Engineer, Ethan, look forward to sailing with you one day as an engineer, and congratulations. Hello. Mrs. Usher from Sands Secondary Middle School has received the award for most spirited teacher. She was on three voyages this year. She has been on board spirit many, many a time before, but each time she brings out the best energy she has to offer. She has the ability to recognize when students are hitting that wall and helps the crew guide them through. She has her own struggles with being seasick every time we go offshore, but she always perseveres. Thank you, Ms. Usher, for all that you do. It is much appreciated. I will be presenting the Captain's Honors Award. This award goes to Ethan Thompson. 
Ethan offered encouragement and support to all his crewmates. He was a leader of the watch and has a willingness to get things done and take responsibility for leading others. Ethan also found opportunities to bring laughter to the group, even through difficult tasks on board. Good job, Ethan. The Adam Goodwin Scholarship, some background. The scholarship was created after Spirit of Bermuda's first burial at sea on the 10th of October, 2010, after the passing of Spirit's first officer, Adam Goodwin. The scholarship is awarded annually to a deserving candidate chosen by a select committee for a determined amount of funds. My son, Adam, was preparing to graduate from Saltis and he went to a university fair who was promoting a selection of choices. One of those choices was an onboard sail training vessel Concordia, a program called Class of Fro Float, which sailed around the world for 27 ports of coal. But Adam wanted that gap year before he was going off to university. Adam left Bermuda as a boy of 16 in May 2005 and came back a year later in July 2006 as a young man. That experience was transformational, changed his life. It was then that he want, knew what he wanted to do to become a qualified sea captain. He applied to maritime colleges and finally it chose Australian Maritime College, which was supposed to be one of the best in the world. He went to the launch of Spirit of Bermuda in Rockport, Maine in August 2006. He participated in the sea trials and with his brother Mark made the vo maiden voyage to Bermuda in September 2006. Following, he worked on board the Spirit for school voyages. One of the, during the college breaks, he had to accumulate sea time. So while he was in Bermuda, he worked on the Bermuda Container Line, the Schulte Line, and the Maersk Line to many places all around the world. After graduation, as an unlimited master mariner from Australian Maritime College, he came back to Bermuda and he wanted to give back to his community. He wanted to tell all his friends of the seafaring tales of the past five years to inspire them to see the world as he did. Since 2010, we have awarded eight scholarships. Kristen Green, Mario Swenson, Danzel Todd, Danielle Brangman, Elijah Simmons, Tsukembe Dill, and Lamar Samuels. Adam would have wanted his students to further themselves after these awards and get some exposure and experience to see the world as he did. So, awardees, you are encouraged to stay connected to the Sloop Foundation, participate in skiller voyages and overseas voyages. If you want, you can join as crew member and become a watch leader. And should you want to further yourselves in the maritime industry, there's scholarship money available. Today, the Adam Goodwin Scholarship Mentor Award goes to Adam Zuhl, a deserving candidate. He has confirmed that he will give back to his community and hopefully inspire others to look to get some time at sea and all the discoveries and fun that's to be had. Good luck, Adam. We'd like to hear more from you of all your future voyages. I'd like to thank the Goodwin family, the Spirit of Bermuda, and the Bermuda Sloop Foundation, along with their supporters. The Spirit of Bermuda has been supporting young people since 2006, no matter what their endeavors, and I really appreciate their support. I look forward to getting involved again in the future. Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Jarvis. I study Bermudian history, particularly its maritime history. I wanna offer you congratulations on completing your stint on the Spirit of Bermuda. We are now shipmates. You are shipmates joining the fraternity of everyone who has sailed on the Spirit before you um, and giving you some insight into Bermuda's maritime past. I want to talk a little bit about the future. You'll see on my shirt, the Spirit of Bermuda shirt, coming in 2006. Malcolm Kirkland gave me this shirt when I gave a talk in 2002 when Spirit was just a dream. Uh, the money hadn't been raised, the plans hadn't been drawn, Spirit did not exist. The ship that you just sailed on and has been sailing for years did not exist. So this shirt was a bit of hope in the future. 
And that's, I think, what uh, Spirit of Bermuda is too, a bit of hope in Bermuda's future. You've all worked together. Uh, you've shared a fate. You've uh, learned to uh, the collective work that goes into seafaring uh, and how you are all literally in the same boat uh, during your stint on the spirit. And Bermuda is like a giant spirit. Everyone does share a collective fate. Everyone ideally will work best together. So don't forget uh, the teamwork and uh, the cooperation that went that you experienced here on Spirit and take that into your adult life and think of Bermuda that way, that uh, it's stronger when everybody is all working together. So Spirit has taught you both seafaring skills, given you an insight into the past, and hopefully has given you some life lessons that can make the future brighter. Hello, okay. and congratulations to the awardees of the Spirit of Bermuda Expedition. Although the health and safety regulations require us to keep our physical distance at this time, nothing could keep me away from offering you students my heartfelt congratulations. Your hard work, teamwork, and positive attitudes have earned you this recognition, and it is my hope that you will continue the behaviors and attitudes that have brought you to this point. An expedition on the Spirit of Bermuda offers students not only great opportunities to learn about sailing and the history of sailing in Bermuda, but also helps students to grow as individuals and take on leadership roles at a critical time in their lives. As an M3 student, you are at a stage in your life where you're really starting to learn who you are and what type of person you are in relation to others. Hands-on experiences like these build character and based on you being included as part of this presentation, it is safe to say you are on the right path. I'm confident that you as participants and now awardees will take lessons from your experiences on the spirit of Bermuda to continue to build your character hone your leadership skills, and ensure you become productive members of society. It is my hope that you will look on your time on the spirit fondly, remembering the lessons you have learned and use it to become great contributors to the Bermudian community. As the Minister of Education, I am grateful for the Bermuda Sloop Foundation for providing this opportunity to our middle school students. It is really a once in a lifetime experience that leaves a lasting impression on the character of our young people and more students to get hands-on Bermudian history. Organizations such as the Bermuda Sloop Foundation are truly treasures to the island as they not only preserve our history, but secure our future by investing in our children.